Aloha, and welcome to the Mauna Loa Observatory. My name is Aidan Colton, and I'd like to thank you for stopping by today to visit with us at the 11,000 foot elevation on the northern slope of the Mauna Loa volcano. Here you will find a world-class baseline atmospheric monitoring station run by the National Oceanographic and Atmospheric Administration under the Global Monitoring Laboratory. We have three other major laboratories around the world located at Barrow, Alaska, America Samoa, and the South Pole. So all of these stations are monitoring long-term trends in the atmospheric constituents that can cause a forcing in our climate. So either a warming or a cooling. So what exactly are we looking at? We're looking at five major areas of research. We monitor changes in greenhouse gases, ozone depleting gases, stratospheric ozone itself, aerosols, and solar radiation. So why Mauna Loa? Mauna Loa Observatory, as you can look around, is above the clouds. So there's a natural inversion layer that forms that keeps a lot of the local pollution below those clouds. So being above the clouds in the middle of the Pacific Ocean at 11,000 foot elevation is a great spot to collect continuous baseline, well-mixed air masses from around the globe. So Mauna Loa Observatory was first founded in 1956 where we started monitoring column ozone and solar radiation. And then in 1957, we started monitoring carbon dioxide. So we're most well known at this time for being the birthplace of the Keeling curve. And the Keeling curve is the longest continuous running measurements of carbon dioxide anywhere around the world. So from those humble beginnings, we've actually grown in size to where we now have over 75 different active projects affiliated with 30 different organizations where we are monitoring over 250 different ingredients or constituents or things in our atmosphere that can cause a forcing to our climate. So thank you so much for stopping by. Um, stay safe and have a great day. Aloha.